Hello again, everyone. All Dragon here. Welcome to the channel update for July. Um, the first bit of news that I want to talk about is the subscriber count. Uh, if you've noticed it during the last month, it was probably higher than it is right now. Um, I don't know the details by any means, uh, but I think there was a bug in the tracking system that they were using. Because a couple days ago, it dropped by about 130. Um, and it, throughout the month, it was going up faster than the analytics were showing. So I was suspecting that there was a bug there, which is why I didn't say too much about it, other than like when I first noticed it. Um, you know, what are you going to do? Google's going to Google. Um, but the related good news is that we did break 2 million views, and that is not a bug. Um, so that's, that's awesome. That happened about two days ago, uh, which was actually a little bit uh, sooner than I expected. Um, helped along by uh, some various things that I'll talk about in a moment. Um, we've got uh, Eye of the Beholder 3 wrapping up very soon. Uh, we'll be starting something completely different after that. We've got Xenosaga 3 going strong. Probably going to go for quite a while longer. I don't think it's going to be as long as uh, Suikoden 5, but it's not a short game. Although, part of that is because there's more cutscenes. Um, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, Stellaris, of course, uh, going uh, swimmingly. I, the, the, the campaign that we've got is uh, really going well, honestly. Um, it, it's definitely hit a point where I'm not too sure that anything other than the endgame crisis or a fallen empire could uh, stand in our way. Um, which feels good. Really feels good. Uh, the latest epi episodes are on the 1.2 patch. I don't think they're on 1.2.1. Um, but uh, in just a few days, essentially, that'll that'll change because I need to record some more episodes. Uh, I did miss a day, and I apologize for that. That was because um, I basically miscalculated how many episodes I had. Uh, I had had a really long recording session uh, building up to the the last day of that, and uh, I just miscalculated when uh, I was running out and what day I was planning to record more. So it's going to happen sometimes, uh, you know. Uh, King's Quest Six, of course, wrapped up uh, earlier in the month as well. That pretty much brings to a close everything that I really want to do with King's Quest. Um, I do kind of want to do some of the remakes, but the, the fan remakes, but that's not going to happen anytime soon if I do those. Um, you know, it's time to give King's Quest some breathing room. There's always the possibility that I'll come back and I'll do like King's Quest 7. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm never going to, I'm not going to say never. Uh, the only things that I, I put that on are most sports games um, and a lot of shooters. But, you know, never say never, so to speak. But uh, I, I'm, I'm not planning on it. So that basically wraps up uh, King's Quest. Stardew Valley, still uh, being streamed on Mondays. You know, show up, have a good time, have fun. Um, at about 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you want to, you know, get a notification when I'm going live, uh, just head over to the Hitbox channel and uh, follow me. You'll get an email when I go live. Uh, I also post on Twitter and Facebook, of course. Um, I recommend Twitter because you'll get some additional musings throughout the weeks and everything like that. Um, and if you actually want to get in touch with me, I kind of prefer Twitter to uh, the Facebook message system for pages, just because it's kind of clunky. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll respond, so you know, do what you want. Um, oh, uh, yes, also uh, Front Mission 3, we had some more episodes of that, brought to you by Zappa Slave. A uh, lot of fun there. Uh, sound like people enjoyed uh, the videos, so um, thank Zappa Slave for uh, more of that. Also, uh, this past weekend, which 
basically the last weekend of uh, June, uh, if you're watching this after uh, the first of the month. Uh, fellow hobbyist Bobo the Vulture uh, held a massive live stream. It ended up being about 33 hours total. Um, it was for uh, other fellow hobbyist uh, Grimith, um, who lost his father to um, a medical illness. Kind of redundant there, but uh, yeah, an illness. And um, that was, you know, basically to raise awareness and uh, help him out a bit. Um, as part of that, uh, a bunch of Let's Players got involved and uh, were doing co-commentary, party games, that sort of thing. Um, Bobo's putting up one episode a day of the party games until he runs out. Uh, right now there's a couple episodes of Fibbage and a couple ep episodes of Bidiots. Um, Bidiots is a lot of fun. Um, so if you want to see me, you know, in party games with uh, other people, uh, check out those videos. Um, at various points, Bobo's wife Bean is uh, participates, Mysterious JG, uh, Lethal Feline, uh, Grimith, of course, myself, Zerfall, uh, a whole bunch of us were involved and uh, having a lot of fun. Of course, Zerfall also uh, occasionally um, played with his wife on a team, so he's a total cheater. Remember that. He's a total cheater. You heard it? Y you didn't hear it from me, actually. No, no. I'm kidding. I said it. I said it during the uh, stream. Uh, it's all in good fun, though. Um, on the view count, uh, the Stellaris 1.2 episode, or video that I put up, is doing pretty well, and a lot of that's coming in, uh, non-subscriber. Um, in fact, the vast majority of that is, uh, which is kind of what I was hoping. I mean, obviously it was for those watching the Stellaris Let's Play, um, but you know, with a, a basic overview of the patch, I was also hoping to get, you know, new people to, to show up. And I'm pretty sure some did. Uh, so for those who did, you know, welcome to the channel. Hope you stay a while. Hope you enjoy yourself. Leave some comments. I like, uh, I like reading the comments. I like uh, replying to the comments. Um, I got a good bunch of commenters. Uh, overall, uh, I don't have many problems with commenters. Um, I, I have not had to ban very many. Uh, I bring it up mainly because I did have to ban two people this month, which is basically more than I've ever had to ban in, in any single month period ever. Um, the only real rule that I have is don't be a jerk. You know, don't be an asshole. Um, which, again, I, by the very fact that I haven't had to ban very many people, it doesn't happen. Most people come in and complain the, about the way I play. I, I basically just say, you know, if you don't like it, don't watch. Go find someone else who does play the way you want. I mean, you know, if you don't like the way that I play uh, any given game, the vast majority of those games, there's, you know, two or three other Let's Plays of them out there. Why waste your time commenting? You know, oh, I don't like the way you play this. Go find someone you like. You know? So, uh, I, I bring it up j mainly because one of the people uh, who I, I banned, I have, I warned him, basically. Uh, he was subscribing and unsubscribing multiple times, and he basically just every time came kept coming in and making a ridiculous claim, and I got tired of it. So, it was like, that's it. You know, enough is enough. Um... You know, for the, the vast majority of you, you don't need to worry. Uh, if you haven't gotten a warning from me, you're in safe zone. I mean, you have to go pretty far to get a warning from me. So, um, I, I, I mean, I, I encourage you, I, I actually encourage all of you to comment more. Because I, I enjoy it so much. I can get a little bit behind at times, um, but I read everything... Um, I try to respond to most, I mean, some comments are just, you know, essentially self-contained. I don't feel that they need a response, but I do read everything. Um, you know, I love it when you're commenting along with me, so to speak, making jokes, 
pointing out things that I may have missed in the video, um, stuff like that. So I encourage more comments. Um, it helps the videos as well. Uh, the more a video is liked and commented on, the higher it shows up in uh, search results. That is, that's an ancillary benefit, you know. That's extra on top of the enjoyment I get of interacting with you guys. So, um, more comments, please. Like it. I love you guys. Anyway. Uh, you can see that uh, Eye of the Beholder 3 is doing pretty well on the views. Um, the episodes are, are, you know, up there with uh, the other stuff that is, you know, first episodes like XCOM and Stellaris. Um, actually, UFO Defense is uh, pretty far down there. Uh, Eye of the Beholder 3 is uh, filling up that list. With some of the more recent episodes of Stardew Valley, a lot of that is because of the length of the videos, though. Um, like you can see, the average view duration, much higher average view duration. But that's also because, like, that's that one's an hour, that one's an hour and 15 minutes. The view counts are substantially lower than these others. It, it's basically uh, uh, the people watching these like them a lot, so and they're long. So, um, but that's basically what's going on there. Uh, Stardew Valley gets basically higher amounts of, uh, total view time and stuff like that. Um, but fewer overall views, which is kind of expected. Um, but overall watch time and, uh, view counts are going up. So that's, uh, that's awesome. I like, I like that. Uh, in other related information, um, well, not really related, actually. What am I saying? Uh, other unrelated information. Uh, there's a new deity up on my blog uh, for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this time it is Task the Ruster, who is basically just the dragon godi god of greed, as opposed to Astilabor, who is the dragon uh, god of acquisitiveness without the stigma of greed. Yes. I, I like the more... N I, I like these the, the, the nuanced uh, um, portfolios that many of the dragon gods have. Uh, I, I think that, that adds a, a really interesting uh, element to the deities themselves and the nature of dragon kind. Um... Other than that, I've got two projects in in the works right now. Mm, excuse me. Sorry. Didn't mean to get that recorded. Um, I don't know exactly when they're going to be coming out, but they will be uh, probably in the next two weeks or so. Um, I don't want to talk about them too much, but... Suffice it to say, if you've been sitting around saying to yourself, Man... I've watched all of Ald's videos th today. I wish he would produce more. Guess what? You're going to get it. You know what? Just quit your job. Watch my stuff all the time. Just that that's that's the proper response right there. Join me in jobless bumitude. Anyway, um that's uh that's really the news. Um Trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to talk about. Not really. Uh, of course, uh, I've got the Patreon page here. Um, I really appreciate all of you who um, have become patrons. Um, I find that... Uh, to me, Patreon is a much better way of supporting... Um, YouTube creators, and other sorts of creators. I mean, I know that there's an, a lot of artists on Patreon as well. Um, because, I mean, it, you're showing that you feel that what they're producing has direct and genuine value to you. And that's pretty substantial. Um, to a certain extent, when it comes to ads, you know, we're... Uh, 
you have to sit through something that no one really likes sitting through in order to, to support uh, the creators. And it's kind of a crummy way of doing it, uh, if you really think about it. Um, so if you want to show your support, you know, really show your support, that's a good way. Even a single buck goes a long way. I mean, that's more than any of the uh, any of your views in a month is going to generate an ad revenue, basically. I, I, I suppose, un except, you know, unless you actually clicked on them and bought something or something like that, but that's... We all know that never really happens. Um, but, you know, I mean, a single buck... It, that's the cost of a hamburger at McDonald's. Maybe a cheeseburger, whatever. Um, you know, so if... If you really feel that this, you know, what I'm producing, which you can watch for free, is actually a value, I would really appreciate, you know, uh, the, the, that Patreon support. It, it does mean a lot. Um, and I want to thank uh, all my current patrons. Um, Tribane, Grigory, Grigory Krasikov, Laris Mag Magpie... Kijikun, Remy Engler, Alera, T. Cole, and of course Zappa Slave. Um, you guys mean a lot to me, uh, and and I hope you feel that. Uh, well, I mean the fact that you've signed, you know, you you've uh, become a patron on uh, Patreon says a lot right there. But I hope you feel that that you know it's still worthwhile. And I really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me. Thank you so very much. And to everyone else, your comments, your likes, subscriptions means a lot to me as well. I don't want to diminish any of you either. Um, the more you guys participate, the more rewarding this whole thing is. So I want to thank you all. I will see you in the next videos. I will see you again in the next uh, update next month in August, which is my birthday, I should point out. It is the dragon's birthday. Feel free to send ham. See you next time, everyone.